video content and hopefully everyone or at least some people subscribe to my channel because I need some subscribers. I barely, I have zero subscribers so far. I just want to thank everyone that has been supportive in my whole career on this journey to get my own place and get to start connecting to more people. And I can't think enough for my all my friends I've been with since I moved here and since I was at McDonald's. If anyone hasn't found out, I do not work at McDonald's no more. I end up getting fired because some false accusations. And I was upset. I'm still upset, but I'm making it through. I have my own place. Getting used to being still out on my own, it's nerve wracking. Especially when my own mother doesn't agree that me using my own student loans is good, but who cares? Like, if anybody has good advice on how to cope with bad parenting. I will leave my Facebook, my Snapchat, all my social media information down in the description. Let's just get into this video. Hopefully everyone enjoys. Like I was saying before, I'm still new to YouTube. I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel ever since I started following a lot of famous people out there. Especially when I moved up here, I didn't know how to cope with bad vibes. I end up getting some help. I'm still getting help. Like, I still wrapping my head around I I have good friends out there that have been supporting me and I do really appreciate all the support like if I last night I did a good vibe and they are upgrading to the latest iPhone I got I have my iPhone 11 Pro and it took me a while to fact, hard fact release of the old one because of a mistake I did. Downloading a version that Apple hasn't, that Apple didn't release. It was a beta and I messed up the phone. I called Apple. They walked me 100% through the whole process. They said, yeah, you need to do this. You need to hold up the volume button hold press and hold the volume and press and hold press and release the volume button press and release press and release the volume up button the volume down button and hold press and hold the home button until you get the hard factory set and it took me some time. I finally got some good Wi-Fi in my apartment. And I do appreciate everyone, especially my counseling service. They have been there ever since I started there at the midway through this year. They understand where I'm coming th from. They understand what's been going on with me, especially with my foster family. I do regret 100% of the time moving up to Riverton, Wyoming, because I have friends still back in Rollins, Wyoming, and I do miss them. I miss them a lot, like, right? but I have new friends like Austin and Chastity, and they're family to me, like, they've been there supporting me, like, when I was living closer to them, 
they made sure I ate every night. Like, I don't want anyone to think I'm a bad person because of my past. Yes, I've been in and out of my foster family's house because of my very defiant mood. And I do regret being that angry little redheaded kid when I was younger. It finally got to them a while. They end up finding out about the Wyoming Cowboy, Ch Cowboy Challenge Academy. I end up going there and I, next year on June 10th will be three years since I've been out. I do follow over in, um, sergeant, most of the sergeants from my class and most of the people that work there. Like they've been there, they felt where I was coming from. Yes, I did act out a couple of times, as people would say. Like I did bring down my company, but they knew how I felt. They didn't know how to help, but they ended up helping me, changing me into a better person like I am today. Like if I could go back, I go back as a sergeant. As, as as a sergeant and work with kids like me. It is hard, it is difficult. And if people want, think I'm different and I'm not as, as the same as I was before, so be it, I just, end up saying, well, who needs you to be my friend? I have many friends. M many will say, yeah, I know him, but he's not my friend. They may come hang out with me. Or I may ask them, hey, can you help me get to the grocery store? Like this Thanksgiving, I didn't know what I was going to do. I end up having a very good person named Ruby reach out to me and ask me, what are you doing? I was like, I'm not doing anything. Like, she was like, well, I'll make you a plate. She had a hard time finding my house. So she came back the next day. I ended up waking up with loud knocking and I was like, oh, I hope it's not the police. Well, I end up here on the doorbell, doorbell. I was like, okay, I like it. Ended up waking up, and she ended up giving me leftovers. Like she made me two plates, and gave me three slices of pumpkin pie. I told her thank you. Like she's like a grandma to me. Like I recently lost my grandfather with agent orange and believe it was stage two or stage three lung cancer and the only memories I will ever have of him was he did offer me a, um, a be adult beverage and it was on my birthday then it was like okay but I was fine then Christmas came around my brother was needy and my stepbrother was needy and greedy and I, it got to me I was so irritated where I didn't want him to see it so I ended up going ride my bike my grandfather asked me again hey do you want out an adult beverage I was like walked up my mom looked up my stepdad they gave him the okay I end up doing it I do, I was, I'm still underage. I turned 20 this month. I have 60 more days till my birthday than another year till I could actually possess that, which I don't do it for the feeling of the after effect. I do it because I have pain. I have pain because I never had a mother figure 
look after me like that in a while. But I sadly, I made that mistake. And it was hard for me. Really hard. I, I started doing all these other things like doing illegal like doing an illegal drug here in the state of one mean may know as marijuana and yes i i do do it but not all the time because i tend to forget why i'm at what do i do i end up doing something that was legalized may know some may know it as cbd yes i did cbd end up quitting when I moved into my new apartment and I still I don't know if I'd be get in trouble if I post this and put it out on social media I do vape I vape because I have pain I I do it because I want people to realize they're not out there alone And I do have people that ask me, why, why do you shut down? I was like, well, I never know how to really cope with how people treat me. I take everything they tell me to heart. And it's been hard. Like, ever since I lost my job, I was like, I'm never going to get a job. I'm going to end up being out on the street, never going, know when my next meal is going to come, but I have people. I have people looking after me. I have my grandfather looking after me. He knows I'm doing okay. I do believe everyone deserves a second chance, no matter what. Like, I was watching a series called SWAT, and um, when um, Han took in this kid, he had a past, he had some issues because his father, he never had that father figure in his life. I was like, that kind of relates to me, like, he had, I, I don't want to spoil it if any no one has seen it. He end up getting hurt really bad. Like Ahan, um, the main car um, main person in the show. Who he was upset. I get why he was upset. It would make me upset too. And it also made me think, wow, I had it so easy. I never fell in that bad crowd, which I did fall in a bad crowd when I was in high school. That's why I didn't go back to finish my diploma because I was so far behind in credits. I was like, no, I'm a failure. I'm not going to be good as anybody else. And it was hard, as some people would know. And I do want people to know they're not out there to hang out, to dry. Like, my parent, mom, in the past week, she ended up calling me. Yes, we did get in an argument. I did an exchange argument and I end up yelling at her. I don't regret yelling at her because she has hurt me so bad. Like, some may not agree. Like, she hurt me because I end up going behind her back and getting a tattoo and she wanted me wait to get out of 
a, mi a military boot camp and I was like, well, you know, I'd be in the U.S. government's, um, like, I'd be um, Uncle Sam's and she never thought of that and she thinks she knows everything. Well, I end up getting my first tattoo. Then, as soon as I found my out, my grandfather died. I end up calling up my grandma. Finally, she finally answered. I was like, "Hey, can I get a tattoo for Grandpa?" And she was like, "Yes." I asked her for the day of his day of birth, and I end up putting the day he was born and the day he died. And my mom thinks her tattoo's better, but people say my tattoo's better, and. If you guys want to see what my tattoo is, just go to my Instagram and you can see it. And I love it. It, I know he's going to be with me no matter what. And it is hard. And for anybody who needs advice like I said before I leave my social media in the description till next time thank you